We're taking this show on the road to the Fred Hall Show in Long Beach, California. Now, coming from Phoenix, Arizona, I had to stare at this for nearly six hours. But I did finally make it to the Long Beach Convention Center for the 2013 Fred Hall Show, and everyone was here, mostly. Western Outdoor News. Polaris Supreme. <laughs> Friends of Rollo. This was Avid Reels. American Angler. Ocean Odyssey. Aloha Spirit out of Channel Islands. Hi, I'm Captain Frank with Ranger 85 and Coral Sea here at the Fred Hall Show in Long Beach. So what is it about this show that makes it the event it has become? Fred Hall Show Long Beach is good for us because we get to see a lot of our clientele. A lot of our clientele live in L.A., they live in San Diego, they live locally, and they get to come in and say hi to us, and we get uh, a reputation with them, and we get to uh, visit with them, not only on the boat, but we get to come out here and um, see them off the boat and uh, visit with them. This is, without a doubt, the biggest venue here on the West Coast. You can literally just feel the excitement in the air with the anglers that walk the halls at this show every year. This is all about promotion and meeting people, meeting new people, saying hi to our regular customers, and uh, just putting the word out about the American angler. There were plenty of boats on trailers, and even one boat you could check out that was a little too big for a trailer. The kids' trout pond was once again a popular spot. And Abbott Reels had their try it before you buy it set up at the casting lagoon. This is an opportunity for people to come out and actually have a hands-on feel for how the reels work, uh, especially with our MC cast control. You can see the difference. There's people who backlash a lot, it really cuts down in the backlashes, and they get to feel it rather than just hear somebody talk about it. Along with the usual rods, reels, boats, and fish, I did find a few unique items, such as this handmade fishing lure called the mouse fish. The exposure will be about shoulder to the head, and they just bob right through the water. It's a slow retrieve, and what's really excellent about that is it's a quiet, slow retrieve, so when the fish actually comes and strikes it, it's an explosion. It's very electric, very electric. I bet the saltwater bass would go crazy over that. Too bad they don't make a squid version. And speaking of squid, that's the topic of Brandon Hayward's new book. The new book is uh, a look at the current cycle that the Southern California coast is in, and that is of uh, squid-filled, squid-rich waters, a lot of white sea bass, uh, yellowtail, halibut, and uh, information for private boaters and sport boat fishermen to uh, cash in on local exotics. You know, the attraction of a show like this is all of these great fishing minds in one place. And I had questions. They had answers. My favorite place to fish um, sounds kind of hokey, but I like to fish Cedros Island because of the variety that's around there. The yellowtail fishing is second to none, and there's always a chance of getting a white sea bass. We've gotten some monster halibut around there, up to 55 pounds. Um, the bass fishing, everything about it, and not to mention the scenery, being in the lee of an island, grease calm, warm weather, you're in your flip-flops and a tank top, and you're fishing and having a great time. It's hard to beat that. Are the albacore going to show up this year? And what's your answer? We'll see. <laughs> I, really, the number, my answer is I hope. <laughs> Without a doubt, it's the most frequently asked question at the show this year. But it looks like that we're set. Our setup this year is a cool water year. So I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say it looks like we're going to have a good, good albacore mixed with bluefin season. A lot of variety, a lot of shallow water, a lot of deep water, and it's all very close together. So if you had to run from one depth to the other to make your day or put a day together, it's right there. You don't have to make long runs. And with that, another Fred Hall show is in the books. Buying new fishing gear and just talking fishing. It's the next best thing to actually getting out there on the water. And when you do head out there, good luck and be safe.